should have thought this video through and probably just done a one I spent in a day. I'm like almost ashamed. Who is turning 84 years old today? Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. I have chosen the weirdest week to do. Maybe the first time in my adult life, to be honest. Hi, hello, welcome to today's video. Today's video is very, very different from what I have typically ever done, to be honest. And a lot of people have recommended that I do this video, have requested that I do this video. And I think the reason I've stayed away from it is because at no point of time do I want to seem like I am showing off. That is never the intention. So I want to put the disclaimer out there that while I'm going to be super, super candid with you about each and every expense I make over this week, I don't want it to seem like I'm showing off. I do spend my own hard-earned money. I don't take money from anyone, alhamdulillah, excepting my privilege, privilege and also the years of hard work that has gone into me being completely financially independent, right? I am someone that, um, that spends on everything on my own, runs my home, and I will show you every nitty-gritty expense over the course of the next seven days, whether it's a time pass expense, something for the house, a monthly bill, Anything it might be, I will take you through and I just want to not feel judged for anything frivolous that may come up or a time pass spend that may come up and at the same time I don't want this to be uh, something that will be made bigger than it needs to be. So I just want to start off with a disclaimer because that's the thought and fear that has held me back from doing a video like this for so long. I'm going to walk you through every single expense, personal, professional and everything in between. So let's not make this intro any longer and let's dive right into it. Okay, so expense number one, it is the 10th of the month and I have just verified my Doodwale Bhaiya ka bill, my milkman's bill. We have a monthly milk subscription that comes from a close by dairy, it gets delivered to our house every morning. We typically take about half a litre a day, on some days we take one litre and on some very rare days if we have uh, guests over that don't come at night, right? Because guests at night don't really need milk, but if there are guests that are going to come in the day, the coffees and the teas need additional milk. Uh, so I've just verified his bill last night before going to bed and I have 2000 rupees kept over here to pay him. The bill is 1900 rupees. So this is the first expense for this video. Okay, wow, I am so sweating quite a bit and uh, it's because I've just come out of the shower, opened my hair and uh, it's really hot. I need to get my AC serviced which is going to be another expense that's going to come up at some point. I'm going to call up my AC service guy and have him come in uh, to do this one of the days either today or tomorrow depending on his schedule. Let me figure this out. We're already on to expense number two. I am sitting here and like my usual spot because I'm only just realizing Vivesh has the best seat in the house. The spot that he sits at gets direct AC flow and considering I'm feeling really hot, I decided to switch my seat and come here. Express number two, as I was saying, uh, is this breakfast meal that I have over here. Now, I'm not going to count the keema. You guys know that I'm a big fan of keema that I typically tend to have every Sunday and call for from outside. I called for it after months day before yesterday. I had some leftovers, so I decided to have that for breakfast today. But that's not the expense because I'm not paying for that within this video, right? Te technically speaking. But the Brunpal I just paid for and I paid 4 rupees. Brunpal, I know you don't get everywhere in every city because like my in-laws for example, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, every time I ask them what should I send for them or what should I put in the package that I'm sending them or when they come here, the first thing on their minds is uh, Brunpal. please. And I, uh, I've realized that not everyone gets Brunpao everywhere. So I absolutely love this Brunpao. It's something that I've been having since I was a kid. I put my bread on it and dip it in tea, in tea sometimes. I have it with my keema. I have it in various combinations. And it only costs 4 rupees. Most expensive expenses I I'm going to put that in the vlog. <laughs> For lunch, rather dinner, because neither of us is home for lunch, we're having made green Thai curry that Adda is going to make. Adda is our family cook who's actually been in my family for over 30 years. She used to cook at my grandfather's house, at my father's house, and now at my house. So, um, probably going to have another expense coming up for the groceries, because for Thai curry, I'd like to call for some of the things fresh. The way we do our groceries is that there are things I call for in general, and then things I call for fresh. I think all of us do that, right? Not just me. Uh, kya saman lana hai? 
So the way I tend to call for things when I want them fresh is that I give Parukala the money, she goes down to the market next to our house and gets fresh supplies. I will give you a thorough breakdown and hisab of all the things we bought once she's back. The next expense is already here. Wow, it's the 10th of May and as I'm doing this video, I'm realizing that you're going to see a lot of my like monthly expenses here basically. I just handed over 700 rupees to the uh, person who washes my car. He washes my car pretty much every day or every other day from inside or outside and washes Jerry's bike about once a week. I think he cleans your bike. Yeah. I pay him 700 rupees a month. I'm still having breakfast and the Thai curry ingredients are still to be here. Okay, Parukhala is back with the ingredients for the Thai curry. I'm not going to bore you with the breakup of everything, but essentially we spent 185 rupees on the ingredients, ranging from things like the Thai curry flavor and the coconut milk and a few other things, miscellaneous items. 185 rupees, next expense. Hi, just leaving the house, headed to Hermes all the way in South Mumbai because they are hosting the launch of Hermes Beauty here in Mumbai. Now I'm going to be driving, so I'm going to go ahead and Uber what the cost of driving from my area to the Hermes store would be and we're going to consider that as the cost of traveling to Ornaman Circle right now. Naturally, I'm not going to know exactly how much my car fuel gets used. The easier thing to do is just take the Uber equivalent. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I will insert a screenshot of what Uber shows me over here so you can take a look. So 309 rupees on that. In addition to which I want to mention, and this is technically my expense because I am going to be reimbursing my team. Uh, while I am going to this event, my assistant Leantha is going to Ikea. If you guys have watched the studio makeover video, which you, if you haven't, go ahead and watch it. I'll leave a link in over here as well as down below in the info box. So you can go watch it after this video. What had happened was there was one Billy Doe shot. Plus, we decided to buy one more cabinet and a few more baskets for the storage. So while I'm out and about at this event and doing other things today, she has gone to Ikea via Uber and uh, I will go ahead and towards the end of the day when I have that total amount together, share it with you on what we've bought, what it costed and what her conveyance was to Ikea and then back coming to my house actually to come and drop the things over. So yeah, that is technically my expense. So even though I'm not there spending it myself, I should include it in this video. How much you have to give? It's 70 minutes. Do you have to give it back? Yes, it's 1 hour. Thank you. 70 rupees per hour for parking. In case I'm there for longer, I'll come back and pay Satme and find out what this expense was. How much this expense was. <laughs> My phone is kept somewhere behind my steering wheel right now just so that I could get this shot. <laughs> so it's weird. It's a weird dream. I'm sorry. Hi, I landed up coming to my mum's house. I'm in the lift right now instead of going to my house. But the Uber would have been pretty much the same to be honest because my mum's house is really close to mine. Like from the midpoint where I would have diverged, it would have been the same thing. So the fare for Uber for my house that I had mapped was 358 rupees. We're going to use that same amount. And the parking fee was 120 rupees. I have no idea where our total for the day stands at. And I have a feeling that this is going to be a very expensive week. Quick intermission to tell you about a couple of new products that I have been trying. I want to thank Aqualogica for partnering with me for a small portion of today's video. You are going to love these products, so don't skip this part of the video. I started out with the Aqualogica Clear Plus Smoothie Face Wash and then I went on to the Glow Plus Jello Moisturizer. The texture of this product is so nice and feels so lightweight on the skin. Plus, the smell is absolutely amazing. It has a 92% claim for glowing bright skin post application. It deeply moisturizes your skin and it's non-sticky at all as well as non-comedogenic. This is a gel formula that is going to help you fight the dull skin pigmentation and dehydration. Next up, we're going in with the Glow Plus Dewy Sunscreen with 50 SPF, 
plus 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 it also helps you fight your uva uvb sun damage blue light uneven skin tone and dull skin once again it comes in water light quick absorbing texture and gives you that perfect dewy glow i love how it has no color no fragrance no white cast it's so so non sticky i love how all of the products from aquologica are vegan cruelty free and very very clean don't forget to use the code anam2023 for 20% off on your order the products are also available on amazon nike and flipkart i'm going to link them down below go ahead and check them out I told you you were going to love it. Now back to regular programming. Hi, I'm back home as you might be able to tell from my kaftan. I'm going to make this account no update really really quick. Um the Uber was showing me for an Uber rickshaw from my mom's house to my house. 56 rupees which is a lot because it's literally 1 km like 1.1 km away from my house but i'm guessing it was because of the traffic because we did get stuck in traffic on the way home as well we is me and my brother's kids who are outside in the living room i'm going to be spending the evening with them so with 56 i'm leaving you for possibly the last expense of the day and going to come back tomorrow please leave a comment and tell me if you're enjoying this video so far and if you're enjoying this level of like just details in general And like I said earlier, I have a feeling this week is going to be an expensive one because there's a couple of big expenses. I just scheduled my AC maintenance for tomorrow. I have a grocery delivery coming in, so there's a lot you're going to get to see in this video. Make sure to turn those bell notifications on, subscribe so that you get alerts whenever I upload more videos. The video is not over, but this is just a reminder to help. Come join the Wear Fam, join the subscriber family, and. Uh, So you get to know when I upload more videos. Okay, I'm going outside now because I'm losing my trail of thoughts, and the kids are waiting for me. I came in to change. Bye. I thought I was done with the expenses of the day, but I'm not. Hello, say hi, vlog. Hi. Ah, uh, we decided to order in for food, and Rayan and Ramaisa love this place called Good Flippin Burgers. It's the same place that you saw me eat from with Mridul on day one of the Cosmo Blogger Awards, and remember over there also I told you that Jayan and Rumaisa made me try it here in Bombay. So this is what we've ordered. We've or tell them your order, and we'll show you. I'll put in clips of the food as well. What did you order? I ordered the curd falafel with two cheesy fries. Rumaisa, what did you order? Fries with nuggets. And I ordered the hot wings. Uh, the total was a little bit higher, but I applied that Swiggy discount thing. You know, sometimes they give you those random codes, and I landed up paying fifteen hundred and fifty-three rupees for the order, including delivery and everything. So let's add that to the expenses of the day. It is really early in the morning, especially because I've been waking up really late. So for me, eight o'clock seems like really early in the morning. We're going to be starting the day with an expense. The chicken in the house is over, so I'm going to be calling up my chicken wali uncle, the broiler near our house, and placing an order for restock. He's not picking up. हेलो जी अलकुम आप जरा अपना एक किलो बोनस चिकन भिजवा देंगे प्लीज थैंक यू खुदा खुदाफिज Okay I have to admit I am on day 2 and I'm kind of regretting doing this video in this week cuz it's going to seem like I spend so much regularly but I'm just having a lot of my maintenance expenses come on so really genuinely drop me a comment and tell me if you want to see more stuff like this if you want to see more day wise and not week wise and I've committed to week wise so I'm sticking to it I have two expenses bigger expenses happening today I have the AC service work going on right now which I typically do once in about 3 months that's going on right now they just finished doing the living room AC and now they're in the bedroom doing the bedroom AC apart from that my IKEA stuff came yesterday as I mentioned to you and with the IKEA stuff uh we have a new cabinet and three doors cuz last time one door got left behind so i called for that one door plus two doors for the same cabinet we've called for again so that is going to happen later today when i'm actually not going to be at home parukhala has gone right now to pick up a couple of fresh ingredients as we do every morning we're getting chinese made today let me update you really quickly on ikea expenses from yesterday because we did buy cabinets baskets this that everything again i 
should have thought this video through and probably just done a what I spent in a day. At IKEA yesterday, my bill was 22,930 rupees. My assistant went and picked up the things, which is why you didn't see me going over there. And I always reimburse my staff for conveyance when they're, you know, running errands or going to events or things like that. The conveyance uh, for like Bandra to Thani to back again was one way was 481 rupees and the other way was 511 rupees i have no idea what my current total is at in only two days but like i said already i shouldn't say it again i'm gonna say it one last time in this video this is an expensive maintenance week i still haven't even called for my monthly groceries yet and and a couple of other things well you and i will both find out through the course of this week i guess I'll tell you what I'll end up paying for the cabinet installments, um, like the semblance as well, as well as the AC servicing once I have those figures in hand. The plan for today is to go for this really fun looking uh, mother-daughter event for Kate Spade. So I'm going to be taking my mum along with me for that event. And then from there, we're going to go meet my nani, my maternal grandmom, who is turning 84 years old today. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. So going to take my mom to the event and then from the event going to take her straight to Andheri to um, hang with my nani for the rest of the day. I have chosen the weirdest week to do the how much I spend in a week vlog because my numbers look crazy and nothing like a regular week but the monthly maintenance and quarterly maintenance expenses have kicked in. I'm like almost ashamed. It's a shame. I still haven't stopped. You still haven't started spending on me. It's yeah. gonna be your biggest expense. Oh, that's a separate conversation for a separate day and a separate video. I'm expensive video. because I've worked it. <laughs> you just come on camera and see. Why are you saying it from behind? Um, I just paid the AC service guys who just left. So they serviced three of our split ACs. We have ACs in the living room and each of the two rooms inside. We live in a two bedroom apartment. And uh, I paid him 2400 rupees. That's about 800 rupees per AC. This guy has been servicing uh, my brother, I mean, like my parents' house and a lot of my brother's friends' houses. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave a link into his. Um, to his. LinkedIn? Why did I say LinkedIn? I'm going to go ahead and add his number down below in the description in case you're based in Mumbai go ahead and reach out to him very sweet guy always very respectful speaks very sweetly and does a quick service which I need and I love and I appreciate so yeah I'm gonna leave Sir Clan's number down below in the description section 2400 rupees on to the rest of my day and on to more expenses bye baby <laughs> I love you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. So I didn't really vlog yesterday, but I did have travel expenses yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and leave them on the screen because I traveled quite a bit. So I'll leave individuals over here. Again, calculated from taking Uber numbers, Uber rates, but I was driving around. Now again, I'm on my way to a Mother's Day event. So I'm going to go pick up my mum and then from there, lift, 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 head to Lower Parel. So once again, I'm going to take uber rates put them on the screen for both going and coming um so you have that i haven't spent on anything else yet but my big fat grocery haul that i told you about things are getting delivered this afternoon so i will be able to give you more updates on that once i'm back home i also have my nariel wala's bill coming this evening because i call for nariel's every alternate day i love to start my day with coconut water so i'll share those numbers with you as we go right now i'm rushing to the event and look at my hair I've put a bow in my hair after like maybe the first time in my adult life to be honest.
Hi, hello. It is Saturday afternoon. I have been a little bit MIA because I think that I've been really occupied with kind of shooting content. And uh, the only expenses that I've had to share with you in the last couple of days have mostly been conveyance. However, my grocery bills are here. The big grocery haul that I have sitting over here has just come in. Now, I want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer when it comes to this expense. Technically, we're doing a what I spend in a week video so even though the amount here is bigger i feel like this is a month's ration so i should split this by four just because there are four weeks in a month and if i was actually purchasing it for one week at a time that's what my actual expense for the week would come to the bill that i have over here is for the value of 6942 and if you divide that by four the number comes to 1735 which is basically what i spent for this week even though this bill is for the entire month we will not count the entire month. We will count it only according to the week. I realize we should do this because otherwise it's going to seem like I'm spending so much more than I am. So I'm just trying to keep it as literal and real as possible as someone who lives in Mumbai and spends on these things. Again, another bill that's getting paid today is my Naryal Pani Wala, my Coconut Wala. I got a little bit sick last month, so I didn't land up taking coconuts through the month. I asked him to stop halfway through the month. My usual pattern of coconut consumption is uh, every alternate day and my Naryal Pani Wala charges me 60 rupees a piece so if you take 60 rupees a piece and you divide it by it like multiplied for four times in that one week this one week that we're doing it for I'm essentially spending 240 rupees on coconuts every week I feel like if I land up paying for the entire month's bill or even half the month's bill it's gonna seem like a bigger picture in the video than it actually is and like I said I'm trying to be as accurate for one week's worth of spends as possible. I know I've already thrown in the IKEA expenses and this and that, but you will be able to make a good estimate of what's um, the regular expenses versus what the one-offs are because we will do a complete tally of my spends towards the end of this video. What's my plan for today? I just washed my hair and uh, I plan on sitting down filming some content and I'm basically going to be home today as well as tomorrow. I'm not expecting any other big expenses per se and uh, if something does come up obviously I will come and report to you. Much 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 later. I honestly thought I wasn't going to come here and show you any of like there weren't any other expenses that would be to share with you. But I completely forgot. I had ordered, okay, so basically being a content creator is my full-time job. I've been a content creator for 12 years now. I got on YouTube in 2017, like properly, properly. And I really found my love for vlogging a few years ago. I want to say about two vlogmases ago, kind of, or maybe it was, maybe it was in the pandemic when I really realized I enjoy vlogging more than anything I do. Um, <laughs> I mean, beauty, yes, but vlogging satisfying so leave me a comment and tell me if you are also team vlogger anam or are you team beauty anam if you know you know or maybe i'll know based on what you say anyway long-winded way of telling you in order to upgrade my audio over here because a few videos ago i realized some of you were telling me in the comments that my um that my audio was very low and i was using like i off late have been using a separate mic just to try and amplify my um audio to be just a little bit a little bit better and experience a better experience for you guys while watching my content and uh, it turns out that that mic is not as great as i thought it was um however i do want to upgrade my audio and so there was this particular mic that I really liked and I was going back and forth because I was like, is this an expense I need to make? Is this an expense that I can skip? Is this an expense that is truly going to make the audio better or not? Two days ago, I came to the conclusion that I need to order it. Two or three days ago, I think Diviesh and I were deciding Diviesh is my team member who helps me film um, a lot of the content and edits most of my content. He's been with me for four years. Diviesh, you're editing, you're watching, I love you. He's a brother from another mother and uh, has been in my team for four years. Yeah, four years now. And he's basically family. And he recommended, initially, he was also like, don't do it, don't do it. It's fine, we'll manage. But then both of us came to the realization that actually we do need to up the audios for specific types of um, you know content. Also because I am inshallah going to be traveling really really soon and when I do travel I don't want windy situations to alter the way you hear my audio. So long story short, your girl ordered a new mic. The expense for this mic is 10,000 rupees. I think I see it as an investment more than anything else, to be honest. Um, I will go ahead and tag it in the video over here. This is not sponsored. I purchased it and I am very excited to kind of plug it in and have you see the difference in audio, which I'm hoping you will be able to tell. However, 
I'm just realizing as I'm opening it up that I am gonna need to charge it because it's a wireless mic. I've got the Godox mic basically and uh, this is a new one. It's apparently everyone's been using it and it's really cool and it's really nice and I've already tested it out. Um, the day that we had gone to buy the Insta360 camera. I will leave a link into that vlog somewhere over here. That same day, I actually tried this out and was very impressed with the audio. So here's hoping um, it lives up to the hype and that it's worth it. Let's go ahead and add that 10,000 rupees in my expenses for the week. Now, how do I get about using this to plug it in? It's gonna be me figuring it out. <laughs> I'm gonna need some time on that. I'm gonna come back to you later. I'm gonna uh, put this into charge and then come back to you and give you a proper demo experience of what it's like once it's all charged. Much, much, much later. Testing, testing, testing if the audio of this works. Need to figure this out. Okay, so it seems like the audio works. At least I can hear a little bit here on the camera. I'm just gonna say bismillah and pray to uh, God that this audio is better. And if I figure it out, I'm guessing it will be a little bit of trial and error. I was supposed to start a separate video tonight on a challenge about keeping my phone away from me for 24 hours. But I needed to YouTube a bunch of tutorials to kind of figure how this happens so fingers crossed i have figured it out i also wanted to come on here and update you on one little expense that has happened i had this solid craving to eat fried momos from prasuma so i ordered two portions for myself i'm having the salivating as i think about it what's going on i ordered the original crispy fried chicken gyoza sorry Mixed up the gyoza for the Momo brain fart moment over here. But the ones from Prasuma that you order in are really, really nice. I like to have them with the good old original Naga sauce that they send you with the portion. It's usually the default setting if you're ordering it on like Swiggy or something. And it's amazing. I'm salivating as I think about it clearly. I am also now going to put my phone away. As I mentioned, there's a separate video coming up. Don't know if it's going to go before or after. We'll figure that out later. But I'm going to sit and eat, continue watching The Hard on uh, Amazon Prime and hopefully get used to this mic and also pray to God that all of this audio comes in and that this is not a blank screen. Don't worry, I said that on mute deliberately. Can you hear me? Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this audio quality. Sunday morning and if you have been following me for a while, you know what Sunday mornings are all about. Sunday mornings are for Kima and Brun Pao from Rajasthan. Brun Pao is not from Rajasthan, only the Kima is from Rajasthan. Um, Sunday mornings are for Kima Rajasthan breakfast and I also sometimes go ahead and get extra picked up and then send it to my mom. I say sometimes because this has to do with her health stats more than anything else. Apologies for all the sounds coming from the kitchen, but it's a Sunday morning in Khana Bandar. Checking in to give you an expense on this morning. So we spent 240 rupees on the Kima, 16 rupees on the Brun Pao, because we got four pieces of Brun Pao. And uh, now there will be a little Danzo expense that I don't know about. That should be about 40 bucks, I think. How much? Sorry. What? When did Dunzo prices go up so much? 70 what? Oh. 74 rupees to Dunzo to my mother's house. My mother's house is one kilometer away from my house. Wow, that's um, quite something. Typically, the Dunzos are around 35 to 45 rupees, depending on the surcharge at that time. Anyway, I have given you the expenses for this morning. I'm going to now go and do some paid puja. This is the package for my mama's house. I just kept it next to me over here before it gets picked up. It's a very Adraki chai with kima and brun bao. Hi, Sunday expense item. I almost completely forgot to share with you actually because technically I made this expense yesterday when the mic got delivered. I ordered an adapter that's a C-type adapter to a phone. You do get the mic that I ordered with a phone instead of a C-type but I wanted to buy the C-type because whenever the new iPhone does come out later this year, I'm probably gonna get it. So I wanted to make sure that that option was always open to me. I can use it with multiple things if I stick to C-Type. And I got the iPhone adapter over here. I paid 104 rupees for this. Hi, good morning. Are you someone who also likes to take a bath with like really, really, really hot water? Like 
satanically hot water as Jerry calls it because then I am like with you even though it is so hot outside I think I'm gonna need to switch that up at some point it's like I come out of the shower wipe my body down and I almost feel like I'm starting to collect sweat already on my face because I showered with such hot water it's ridiculous these face mists have become my go-to through the summer I'll go ahead and tag a few of the really good ones that I am very fond of. This is the one I'm currently using. It's the Cordelli Beauty Elixir. I really like the Karma one as well, the Rose Water and the Pixie one too. I'll tag the ones I like here on the video. I've started off Monday morning actually with an expense. So I, um, Parakala went down to the market and got our weekly set of fresh groceries. Your bread, eggs, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, things like that. And we're kicking off Monday morning with an expense of 236 rupees. So there you have it. I am going to be going and getting my nails done today. So there's going to be a little bit of that as well. But I'm spending most of my day at home before that. Uh, just going to just gonna be doing a lot of admin work, a lot of planning work, a lot of uh, client talk, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Monday is usually admin day. I try and avoid shooting when I can on Mondays. So that's that. I have my eggs cage rival being made. I've gone through this um, long phase of like bhurji and upma, uh, poha, not in a while, just a couple of times in the middle. And today, I literally last night while going to bed, I said to myself, tomorrow I will get up and have eggs cage rival. And that's what I'm doing. Gonna have eggs cage rival. If you don't know what it is, I'll leave a link into the video where I share with you the recipe for this item. It is not, in fact, named after the politician. It is named after a gentleman who gave a very specific way of making the eggs at Willington Gymkhana here in Mumbai, I believe. And it became so popular when other people tried it that they named the dish after the man whose last name was also Kejriwal. If I remember the story correctly, this is exactly how it played out. Um, I'm gonna wait for my kejriwal and my chai, adrakali chai to come in and uh, see what's new on YouTube in the meanwhile. Oh, by the way, today I was supposed to film, um, the original plan was to sit and film my realistic morning routine because I don't actually start vlogging um, first thing in the morning. There's like a whole mini morning that goes behind and then I come here and start vlogging. Uh, but somehow I woke up with a little bit of not a migraine, just a little bit of a headache and I said I'll do it another morning. But since I'm mentioning it over here anyway, let me know down below in the comments if a morning routine is something you would like to see or skip. Let me know down below in the comments. Much, much, much later. Hi. Hello, it is, what's the time? It is 8 or 6 p.m. and I've actually just come back from getting my nails done. This is what they look like. I'm also gonna be posting a shorts about it, which is definitely live by now, so go check it out. It's just a nude base with this gold, um, you know, kind of nail art on it, giving you a quick update on expenses, because I haven't spent anything apart from the last update that I gave you in the morning. Uber showing again because I did drive but since that's how we're calculating the conveyance we're sticking to that format for this video leave a comment and tell me if that format works for like a future video of this nature as well um, 47 rupees going to the salon 49 rupees coming back from the salon and about 3000 rupees no actually it was 2700 rupees counting the exact service uh, fee for the nails um i do an overlay of acrylic and then the nail art or the nail polish or like the gel polish or whatever i don't currently have extensions but i am thinking of getting extensions next month um before we go off on our travels i want to do like a nice fresh set so that there's no um build up and the, no product or dirt goes inside the nail or anything which can happen sometimes especially because my acrylic set has been on for really really long i had a massive craving very strangely while i was actually i'm missing strangely i get food cravings all the time yeah it's true no there's jerry over here in case you can't see him yeah i had this massive craving for this very specific 
Dahi Lassuni Tikka that my brother put me onto a few years ago and the guy um, this is from this it's not really a restaurant it's a little thela but they are, they're also on Swiggy and stuff called Hot Seek which is on the way from the salon to my house so I called them and I was leaving the salon he kept it ready I stopped by picked up this one portion of Hot Seek and then came home this is like a little starter before I have main course later I paid um, 300 rupees for this portion of Dahi Lassani Chicken Tikka and this is what I'm gonna go have. We are down to our last day of spends tomorrow. I'm scared of sitting down and doing the math tomorrow because mostly everything we've done so far, I don't know if some expense will come up tomorrow, let's see. Yes, hoping not. See ya! Hi! Hello! It is not day 7, it is day 8 because believe it or not, I didn't have anything to report from day 7. The first and only day of this week where I have not made any expenses and I'm feeling kind of like proud about it almost. I think I've been a little bit too conscious um, about sharing these expenses through the video. So just want to put that out there that I know I have this very evolved community um, but I'm always a little bit worried about like I don't want to come across as someone that I'm not. So just putting that little thought out there I guess. We're gonna do the grand total of this week's expenses. Well I've already done it and um, drum roll please. <laughs> final expense, the amount, the total figure that we have spent this week, all in all in all with everything, work, personal, this, that, everything comes to 49,659 rupees. Oh my freaking god. I, it is what it is. It's been an expensive week that IKEA purchase and then the mic purchase really like spun things up and uh, made it as expensive a week as it was. I do spend a lot on conveyance. I have realized because I do travel a lot towards South Bombay and not just one off. I travel multiple times a week as you've now seen for events and this and that. Um, there's always a debate whether it's cheaper to have a car, maintain a car versus just take an Uber where you don't have to maintain the car. It's that one time expense but then the convenience of having your own car. So I feel like I've tried my best to take the Uber number and play with it and give that to you for the convenience figure. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Let me know down below in the comments so I can possibly do more of these. I am going on a five week international trip really, really soon. And I, wow, that's the first time saying that out, saying that out loud over here. It is something I'm so excited for. Five weeks, literal five full weeks of travel. So there's a lot of travel vlogs and content coming your way. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're excited. Let me know if I should do one of these in one of those cities. I don't want to share where yet. But uh, yeah, I'm always reading, liking, harding and responding to your comments. So share your thoughts, spill the beans. Give me your honest feedback because I'm here for it. The WhereFam comment shout out for the day. Little reminder to use the hashtag WhereFam in your comments because those are the ones I track and can possibly give you these shout outs with. Goes to Jaya Smita Bhuyan. I really hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I get fairly annoyed when people butcher my name and I hate butchering anybody else's name. So if you're watching this video down below, subscribing is free unlike the way my week has been. Turning the bell notifications on is also free. The settings are telling me that barely any of you are getting notifications I don't know if you have the bell notifications on please turn them on so you can come back for these videos because like I said there's a lot of really exciting stuff coming your way I'll see you in the next one Mwah.